Hello and welcome to the live stream, whether you're joining live with us now, thanks for being here, or if you're watching us on the replay. So today's video is a really exciting one and I'm going to be doing a demo and a bit of a review of an incredible piece of software called Descript. And this is an unsponsored, non-biased view. I pay for Descript on my own and I've been using it for the last ooh, couple of months now, a good part of this year on and off. And it's an incredible piece of software that allows you to edit your podcast, edit your videos, and really has changed the game in how I edit my software or I edit on how I edit my podcast and it has changed the game in making it faster than ever before and it's incredibly easy to use. So I wanted to talk through what it is, how to use it and they've got some really cool features, really, really cool features that I'm excited to showcase to you today. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Sarah Nguyen and I help you grow your business using video on social media with ease and um, make sure that you check out the links in the description because I will timestamp everything so you can jump to the relevant sections or go back if you've missed something. So all the fun happens in the description. So let's talk about Descript. There's a lot to talk about. So I'm going to jump right into the demo. So what you see here is the very, um, I guess, basic look at Descript. Now, I use Descript specifically to edit my podcast, but I'm going to walk you through what you can actually do with it. So what you can see here is I've opened up Descript and you can add the audio in a couple of ways. One, you can record it directly. So if I go to add voice recording, I can literally go voice file. Oh, and I can add like a, a file or I can do an audio recording, which is what I want to do here. So you can actually like plug in your microphone, choose the microphone that you want to um, record from. And then when I hit this little uh, record button here, um, I'm going to just read a sentence. You'll see what happens here. In my view, there are a couple of things that are essential for becoming a successful YouTube creator and entrepreneur. And then you'll see what's happening here at the bottom is that it's transcribing. So there's some transcribing action happening here. And just give it a couple of seconds. I've just recorded the audio. It will record directly the audio file that I just spoke into the software. And it will also generate um, a transcript as well. So that makes it incredibly easy to actually, oh, there it goes, it's going there. So now it's populated that. So let's just play that back. So it's generated um, the voice, the transcript of the, the recording that I just um, read into it. And now I'm gonna play it back so you can hear it. You'll see what happens here. In my view, there are a couple of things that are essential for becoming a successful YouTube creator and entrepreneur. So you can record it directly into the software or you can upload a file to record as well. Um, let's go and actually add a file. So I've got a file that I've prepared earlier. Um, where is it? Here it is. Is it? Yes. No, I had not. Yes, I have the file here. So if you have a file, you can literally drag and drop it onto the software. And once again, um, transcribe it and you want to transcribe it, um, it's a magical thing that allows you to edit it really easily. So you, you, know, you can record it directly into it or you can um, uh, add your own files as well. So once it's transcribed, the magic really is in the editing process. Now, traditionally, when you are editing a podcast, whether the, whether you're using specific audio editing software or you're you're a bit like me and you just play around using um, video editing software and chop it up that way. What you need to do is you need to listen to the whole thing and then chop out the errors. But as you can see here, so this beginning section here, um, I didn't actually want that to be included in the podcast. So what I'm going to do is I've highlighted that section that I want to trim out and you see it's also highlighted it here on the timeline as well. And when I hit delete, it's removed it. 
right? So now that text is actually gone. So that's how easy it is to edit. And that has changed the game significantly because I don't necessarily have to listen to the whole thing, stop, cut it, and then make sure that I've listened to the correct section. I can like edit it by cutting out the bits on of text. So I can do it when I'm not actually actively having to listen to it. I can do it while I'm multitasking and watching television or something like that. So now if I play this, in my view, there are a couple of things. So it's cut it out and it's clean and I've got rid of it. So that makes editing really, really quickly. So you can either add your audio by recording directly into it. And if you've made a mistake, just go back and cut it out, like literally highlight the section and it will cut it out in the file as well. Um, make, making it incredibly quick, or you can add a recorded file. And you know, if you've made a mistake in the recorded file, do the same thing. You highlight the section that you want to um, remove, um, hit that delete key, and then it removes it, which is such a time saver. And I think one of the biggest things that really made me fall in love with Descript and how fast it was to edit edit a podcast and you can do this treatment for video as well I'm not going to cover that because I feel that that deserves a whole video on its own but it's incredibly easy now the other thing that you can do is yes you can record um audit your audio directly into it yes you can add a audio file like let's say you've recorded it using your you know iPhone or whatever but you can also do a bit of um, mixing, multi-track mixing. So let's just say I've got this podcast that I want to record and then I want to add some music. So I would literally add the file to the track, the timeline. And you can see now, like just as I would, I don't want to transcribe it because it's a music file. Um, just like I would, I can move the file along. Like I just want it to be in this last section here. Um, I can change the volume of it. So if I can... Let's make this a bit larger so you can see. Increase or decrease the 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 volume of that audio track. So, and then I can also trim it as well. So if I wanted to just, you know, get rid of this section here, I would simply just trim it like that. So it's really easy to use software. And now I've got some music over it as well. So let's play this so you can hear it. Ooh, over here. There we go. Let's play. Oh, is hard and I want to be here to help and guide you. So it's added that music track to it as well. So incredibly um, easy to use, lots of drag and drop features, um, which we all love because they save us time. And you could essentially create and record the entire podcast from the software like this and edit it as well. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Now I've, I've covered how to add audio tracks, whether you record it directly or whether you add um, a file. I've covered how to add like a multi-track, like music on top of it to, you know, the intro or the ending of your podcast as well. The thing that has me the most excited about Descript that other software providers of the same nature haven't quite done yet is something called Overdub. Now, let me just make this a little bit smaller. So what is Overdub? Now, you may have heard a little bit about it, but Overdub is um, a feature that Descript have where they allow you to make a deep fake of your voice using machine learning. Now, what does that actually mean? So in Descript itself, um, you have the ability to record your voice. So you, they give you a very specific voice training script and there's um, about half an hour of reading to do. And it's a very, very um, specific script. And with this, you, re you literally read it and record it into their software. And then what happens is they, you can then use this to generate um, audio of your voice without you actually having to record. So let's go back to the software um, and I'm going to do that here. So I'm going to literally type um, some fresh text um, and then we're going to use that to make a, de a deep fake voice. So I'm going to retype. There are a few things that are essential for becoming a successful YouTube creator. Okay, so I've typed the text here. Um, oh, actually I need to take a step back. So um, in order to add 
overdub or uh, deep fake, you need to click on the plus icon here. You need to click on overdub. Um, and I'm gonna, and then, and then you start typing. So I kind of jumped ahead of myself. There are, I'm just gonna do that again. There are a few things that are essential for becoming a successful YouTube creator. All right, I'm gonna delete this lot here. And then I'm going to choose my own voice because I've already um, programmed it here. And as you can see at the bottom, it's creating the overdub um, at the moment. So um, as it's creating the overdub, it will just stall a little bit. And you'll see that this, this sentence here, um, the one that I just created, is now done. Now let's have a listen to this. So this is the... Um, deep fake voice that I just created. Let's have a play. There are a few things that are essential for becoming a successful YouTube creator. So that was the Descript deep fake voice generating that sentence for me. So that is an incredibly, um, I think, game changing feature because, you know, you have times where you record the actual podcast and maybe a piece you forgot to say. So instead of having to go back and take out all your gear and re-record it, you could actually just type it and then let the machine or let Descript generate this deep fake voice for you. And I thought that was pretty cool. I really, really like that feature. Um, I don't know if I would record an entire podcast using deep fake, but I think as a tool to help you like patch pieces where you've made a mistake or patch pieces where you have forgotten things. It definitely is a game changer, which is amazing and incredibly exciting as well. So let's talk a little bit more about some other features that they have. So, you know, typically with the, with the editing software, you can do things like, you know, just whether you trim it out from the, the text here, you also have the option to use the timeline and trim out sections using you know, the blade here. So if you've got bits that you wanna cut out there, as you would a normal editor as well. So you don't have to do everything from the text. You can use the timeline and edit from the timeline as well, which I really love. Um, you know, they've got options to increase and decrease the size of things. It's really easy to use. I think overall it's quite intuitive. Um, one, of the other one of the other features that they have, which is kind of in beta, but I actually really love it as well, is that they have this option um, for one-click studio sound. So what that enables you to do is to go into the track that you have so let's go into this track here um, and then you can literally click on studio sound and then this will apply their magical filters over your audio um, and give you like just that boomy um, clean stripped background you know stripped stripped of all the background noise audio, which I absolutely love. So let's play The last now. two years have been harder than any of us could have anticipated. And I can see how easy it would be to throw in the towel. So that's the actual um, audio with the studio sound applied to it. So everything is like really easy to use, one click to do everything. And I, and just absolutely cuts down the time that you need to edit a podcast, edit a video. I haven't, as I said, used it as much to edit a video, but I find in terms of editing a podcast, it's it's absolutely a game changer. Now, the other thing that you can do with Descript is you can create little audiograms, right? So, you know, those little clips and we're going to do a demo in a moment where you see on Instagram and they've got text and they've got audio, those are incredibly highly engaging. So if you um, create little snippets of your podcast, create little snippets of your YouTube video, um, people really like to use that, will view that because they're typically viewing your content and reading it. They're not necessarily listening to the video um, all the time, but definitely having the text there for people to read is a great thing. So you can also do that using Descript. So what you would do is you would simply um, highlight, you know, the text that you want to create the audiogram for or the section. So I'm going to highlight this section here. And as a highlighter, I can see that it's 24 seconds worth of um, audio. Then I go to share and export. 
and then I can go to audiogram, right? And then in this section here, I have the option on the paid plans to change the background, but they've also got templates. So as you can see here, um, I've got this, uh, you know, sound wave and I've got the text here going. I've also got, you know, this slightly different variation of the text and sound wave. So I get to choose how I kind of want it to appear. And then once I've done that, I hit publish and this will generate a video file for me um, that I can download and I can publish directly to Instagram or I can bring it into Canva and add some more design elements to it as well. So I absolutely love this um, feature as well. It's a really quick way of creating extra content and repurposing your content. And I'm so excited to be able to use incredible software like this. Like you get to edit the soft, edit your podcast really quickly. You get to create extra pieces of content from it. You get to fix your content really quickly with features like overdub. So it really is this game changing piece of software, which I absolutely love. So now that we've got that done, let me show you that file that has been produced. So this is the file, if it will let me bring it up. So this is the example here of the file. The last two years have been harder than any of us could have anticipated. So, you know, I've recorded a piece, I'm creating all the extra bits and pieces for social media really easily. Um, and it's really easy to do. So I really love that. So that allows you to do it there. Now let's talk a little bit about pricing before we wrap up now that you've kind of seen um, the beauty of Descript. Now Descript has a couple of plans. There's a free plan so you can get started with trying it out and seeing if you like it, editing using the text to see how it changes your workflow. Then you've got the creator and pro plan and then enterprise. Um, and they have annual and monthly plans. I use the pro plan because I love the ability to create audiograms. I love the ability to um, use overdub, like the extended <laughs> uh, version of overdub to create the content and fix the content faster. So they've got the plans on creator for 15 a month, um, and they've got pro for 30 a month, but I think in terms of the time saving, which is why I, you know, recommend looking at software solutions to save you time, to buy you back some time. Um, it's definitely worth investing in. And as I said, this is an unpaid, uh, review and demo of the software. I pay for this myself. I'm just a, a strong believer in the software and hence why I wanted to showcase the software for you today. So um, that essentially wraps up today's review of Descript. I walked you through um, how you would edit it, adding your own audio files. I talked through um, overdub. I talked through the sound, the one click sound studio filtering that they have, as well as creating audiograms and the pricing of the software. Now, let me know in the comments section below, what do you think of Descript? Do you think that you can make the move to change to like this different workflow of um, editing your software or editing your podcast, sorry, using software where you edit it by the text as opposed to cutting up the actual audio file? Can you make that change? I was really hesitant to actually do that, but i um, excited to see that this is so easy to do. So really, really pumped. Now, if you did find this video useful, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, where I do lots more tech reviews, software demos, social media training to help you grow your business, create content with ease. And if you haven't got it already, um, make sure you grab a copy of my YouTube um, scripts. So I've got these swipeable YouTube script templates to help you create content on YouTube really, really quickly. There's a free link. They're free and you can download them by the link in the description or on the screen. Um, had a blast. Thanks everyone for joining me and I'll see you in the next live stream. Bye for now.